ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea. Lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. Break into song at the deeds of the Lord, the wonders he has seen in every age. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord. For the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today God calls every one of us into his presence to be filled with the spirit of God and to have the generosity of heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Our loving Jesus wants every one of his children to be generous towards the poor and to be lovable towards the people who are neglected, who are rejected and who are marginalized by the society. Dear brothers and sisters, today God gives great opportunity to participate in this most sacred holy mass. So, as we participate, let's call to mind the sins that we have committed against our God, against our neighbors, and let's call, let's ask God's mercy and compassion to participate worthily in these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned sin through my, my thoughts, thoughts in my words, in what, in what I, have, I done, have done, and what and I have what failed, I have to, failed do. to do, through, through my, my fault, fault, through my fault, fault through my most, most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, my Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray. At all times, go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out the works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 5, verses from 1 to 5. Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 5, verses from 1 to 5. For freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Listen, I, Paul, am telling you that if you let yourselves be circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I testify to every man who lets himself be circumcised that he is obliged to obey the entire law. You who want to be justified by the law have cut yourselves off from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness. But in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything. The only thing that counts is faith working through love. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia to the Lord. Jesus is risen from the dead. Jesus is risen from the dead. Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen from the dead. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 11, verses from 37 to 41. When Jesus had finished speaking, a Pharisee invited him to eat with him. So Jesus went in and reclined at the table. But the Pharisee was surprised when he noticed that Jesus did not first wash before the meal. Then the Lord said to him, Now then, you Pharisees, clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. You foolish people, did not the one who made the outside make the inside also? But now, as for what is inside you, be generous to the poor, and everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the gospel of today calls every one of us to have the generous mind and heart towards the people who are in need, who are poor, who are obliged, who are marginalized. Dear brothers and sisters, God is calling today every one of us to serve the other, not to follow the ceremony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Because God himself says, be generous to the poor and everything will be clean for us. When we are generous towards the other who are in need and who are in necessity of the things, then certainly Whatever we do will be accepted by God. So, what is more important for God is not the clean hands that the Pharisees were speaking about Jesus today. But it is the clean mind and heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus called or he chided the Pharisees saying, because of their evil habits, they were greed, they were pride, they were having the bitterness in their hearts, and they were envious and dangerous, and they are proud. So these all are unclean according to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And today, the same Jesus is asking the Pharisees and us today, especially what he is asking is to have the generosity. Why should we have the generosity? Because we read in John chapter 3 or 16. When we are sinners or when God has so loved the world and he sent his only son to save every person in this world. And it is the generosity of the father. Because of the generosity of the father, he sacrificed his only begotten son. And the same father is asking every one of us to have the generosity of mind and heart. When we have the generosity of mind and heart, we have love, we have compassion, 
we have kindness and we are merciful towards the other. So when we have that kindness, mercy, love and generosity, then our hearts will be full of love. Our hearts will be full of compassion. And then there is no room for our enemy, pride, anger, evil, envious, anything that kills us and destroys us from the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So dear brothers and sisters, today God calls everyone, not just the outside cleanliness, but to have the inside cleanliness. That is cleaning of the heart and mind, which is so corrupted by our worldly pleasures, by our worldly way of living, by our worldly way of attitude. So today, God is calling and every one of us to transform every individual, transform one's own life from the envious to the love, from the proud to the kindness, and from the jealousy to the merciful. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So dear brothers and sisters, let's ask for this grace in this Holy Mass to transform our lives and to give us the generosity of heart and mind. Bread and wine we bring to you, Lord. Work of a human hands Soon to become your body and blood Jesus yourself May all who share this meal divine be one Humbly we bring ourselves to you, Lord. Take our hearts, take our wills. All that we have and all that we do, we give to you. All for you, our Savior and our God. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable by the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like all things but sin, so that you might love us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost the disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks and exaltation of praise we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis of Pope, Bala of Bishop, Society of the Holy Spirit, Govind the Georgia of Patron, for Christ Raja Founder and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Paul, our patron, with St. Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesed to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. This is the Jesus who calls every one of us today to have the generosity of mind and heart. And this is the Lamb which instructs everyone to have the cleanliness of mind and heart. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Of 
Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from you. From the malignant enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints and angels I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. When the Lord appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go and live in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thank you.